Hi guys, I want to show you from start to finish how I do my pipe cleaners. Um, this is an updated video. The reason being, um, when I first filmed that video, my hair was much shorter, so I used a different method. Um, so this is what the pipe cleaners look like. It comes in a package like this. And it says Chanel stems, or it's also called pipe cleaners. So it's a wire that has some fuzz on it. And it's usually used for arts and crafts. You can like bend it into shapes or you can make like a spider or a bug or anything like that. So when I had shorter hair, I used to fold it in half like this and then spiral the hair on the length of the pipe cleaner. But now that my hair is longer, I make a loop at the end. So I curve it like that. And then I wrap the tip around like that. So then I have a loop and then I'm going to take my lock and I'm going to tuck in the end and spiral it up the pipe cleaner and you have to be very meticulous with it with no gaps it has to be very tight and you just slowly well when you first start it'll probably be slow but for me, my record time is an hour and six minutes to do my entire head. So you see what it's looking like there? Very tight. Hence the tightness of the curl once you release it. So now that you've reached the top, you just fold in the end. And that's it. That's one pipe cleaner. I tend not to retwist my hair when I do pipe cleaners. Um, because the volume of the curls, I don't see my roots. And in the morning, I would just brush the edges with a bit of gel, and I'm good to go. Hey guys, so this is about an hour and a half later, and it looks like this because I am staying at home. It's Sunday, it's rainy, and I'm going to be indoors. But if you do want to leave the house, you know, if you just take your time and kind of bend the wires into a shape you can leave the house with it i'm not really that fussed so i'm just gonna leave it like this i'll just do a little 360 not a 360 but i'll just turn around and show you what it look like in terms of drying time i personally don't use hair dryers or um, the hooded dryers, I use them occasionally if I just want to do like a little blast and my hair isn't completely dry. But to completely dry my hair, I've never actually done that. So in terms of the time frame, I have no idea how long it would take if you blow dry it or if you sit under a hooded dryer. But from my experience, I prefer to air dry and it's better for your hair in terms of heat damage. And it's going to take, 20. I like to leave it for at least 24 hours. It's Sunday morning now and I'm going to take it out on Monday before work. Hey guys, so it's the next day now and I'm removing the pipe cleaners. I've taken out most of them as you can see. Um, so I'm just going to do one or two of them on camera so you can see what I'm doing. So you're going to take the, the part that you folded over which is just sticking out here. And you kind of straighten it up, unravel it from the root a little bit because you don't want to be tugging on your root. And then you're going to try to loosen it up a little bit from the bottom. Make sure you're securing the lock and then you just slide, slide it straight through and then you have your curl. So when you first take it out, you have a very nice tight curl and this is how it looks if you do it on one pipe cleaner, one lock per pipe cleaner. If you want a looser curl, you would do two or three per pipe cleaner. So I'll just remove another one. So unravel it slightly, grab hold of the loop and loosen up the bottom. And just like that out and that's pretty much it as I said I did not retwist my hair but the body that I get from this style I don't need to retwist it some of them have fallen because yesterday was very rainy and cloudy and rain comes through my window all the time so my windows were closed and I was kind of just trapped in my room usually my hair is air dry there was no air in my room so a few at the back have fallen and I will repair them 
uh, tonight. But I'll just do a quick 360 of what fresh pipe cleaners look like. I think I just felt there's another one here. And that's pretty much it. I hope this tutorial was clear. The old one, like I said, that was um, how I did it for shorter locks. But um, my sister, her hair is down to her waist and she can still use uh, one full pipe cleaner. So this is good for, uh, I would say, up to waistline hair. Uh, somebody was suggesting that maybe you can kind of intertwine two pipe cleaners together if you have really super long hair. Um, but that would be up to you. If you have any questions, let me know, but that's that's it for today, um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Yeah. Thank you, thank Woo! you, thank you. You're far too kind. Oh.